like the Jetsons, and I love the Jetsons theme. This guy was incredible. Unlike today's music that the Z generation, Gen Z likes, actual musicians in this cartoon theme song. What's that, a piccolo, flute? Wow, string instruments, numerous players. Nice New Orleans sounding trumpet. Someone playing chopsticks on the piano. More than Kane West can do. Yeah, you, Bright, Crescent City, and beyond. You're not on Broadway. You're on the neutral ground in New Orleans with me, Corey Johnson. Two big hours coming your way on the radio. You found us if you're stuck in the car in traffic in Metri, be lining out to the east on the twin span to Laplace on the causeway to the North Shore. Why is that guy driving in the left lane already? Left lane is for passing only. I couldn't handle the commute. I got to live in the city and work in the city. I honestly could not handle the commute to the Best Bank, to the North Shore, to Slidell heading east, to Laplace heading west. I couldn't handle it. Too many belligerent drivers, too many unconscious drivers. It's hard enough driving around New Orleans as is. I was on the Best Bank today. General de Gaulle, besides the traffic lights just not synchronized at all, just a lot of belligerent drivers on General de Gaulle on the Best Bank, but also on Carrollton Avenue. I, I love the folks on Carrollton Avenue that come out of the Holly Grove neighborhood. There's a car on the neutral ground in between, you know, each side of traffic on Carrollton. Yet that guy's going to creep out of Holly Grove and just block the left lane in the middle lane of Carrollton Avenue. I love the driver on Claiborne. Got to talk to my friend. I just pull over to the right, block the right lane. <laughs> it's mind blowing. You know, that little uh, club or little restaurant bar on Earhart, a few blocks off Carrollton towards Doc Francis Parkway, right past the, uh, the little Jeep that's parked up on a little mound all the time to say, hey, I'm going to let someone out. I could pull over to the right, right there, but now I'm just going to block the right lane. Nothing better than riding on veterans and hooking a U-turn and instead of that person merging in, it's got the lane to merge in. They're stopping because they want to hook a right and they block everybody else. Maybe you should go down one more U-turn lane and go over three lanes with the flow of traffic. Unbelievable. Driving in New Orleans, sometimes it can be painful, especially if you're in a hurry. And what's up with Claiborne Avenue going from uptown to downtown? That middle lane is just prohibitive. There's just a bunch of, you know, potholes and collapsed street. And I, I got to stay way in the left lane on Claiborne's. I would say right now, especially in Orleans Parish proper, the worst street conditions in the history of the city. I love these repairs to streets like they finish a street and then all of a sudden the street's ripped up because the sewage and water board or someone has to come in to replace something. It's like, this street was perfect. Why is there a big hole in the ground? And then they put like a big concrete slab in and fix it nice, but it's about two inches lower than the street. Like, f finish it already. Well, why the wait? Why in the concrete slab the same level as the asphalt? Or why don't you come in the same day or the next day after the concrete cures and lay some asphalt? Ah, beating a dead horse here. Walmsley by Dominican, by the Archdiocese. There's a few of those with no warning, no warning at all. Boy, I guess it's Bienville going across Doc Francis Parkway. 
Have you been on that? Bienville across Doc Francis Parkway. I guess where the bike trail is, roughly. Maybe there's a culvert there. That bad boy's way up high. The rest of the street has sunk like a foot, maybe. If, if you're driving at night, I mean, I just happen to know it's there. If you're driving at night and you're doing like the speed limit, like 30, and you clock that, forget about ripping off your oil pan. It might take out the entire front axle of your car. Doc Francis Parkway entering uptown at what is that, Vendome? My God, it's like a lunar landscape. I clocked that one pretty hard a few nights back, a few weeks ago, after I, I brought my mom to the, uh, was it Bocelli concert at the arena? Bringing her friend home. Hit that one at five whole miles an hour and really kind of beat up the front end of my car. No, New Orleans streets right now are at their absolute worst. I mean, it used to be main thoroughfares like Carrollton or Claiborne. They would at least pseudo or semi fix potholes and dips and sinkage in the street where you just didn't annihilate the front end of your car. But no longer. Boy, Carrollton at what is that? Errado? Heading towards Tulane by the new Chick-fil-A. If you're coming from like Canal Street, Jesuit, Banks, heading towards Tulane. Just a huge lip sticking up that just clocks the hell out of the front end of your car. Carrollton Avenue, right past the entrance to the interstate before the dip coming from, say, uptown to mid-city. If you're in that far right lane, Part of the road is sunk and the other part's still up high. The right lane, right before the, the dip under the rail trellis, just clocks the hell out of your vehicle. I would say right now, New Orleans streets are at an all-time worse. And there's a lot of improvements, too. There's some streets that are pretty smooth. I think it's Plum and Uptown. You can actually go Carrollton to Broadway. On a pretty paved street, you don't no, no longer have to go to St. Charles or Claiborne's somewhere in the middle. I think it's Plum Street. It's pretty paved for about 80% of it, which is amazing. It's so weird. You drive on an uptown street that's paved, has new curbs and is smooth. You're like, well, where am I? This is crazy. And then you're like, wait, this is how it's supposed to be. We get so numb, so used to bad streets, litter, graffiti, grass on the neutral grounds. I mean, these garden district folks that live in multi-million dollar homes, I guess the only time they realize how bad their streets are when one of their friends comes in from out of town from Denver and he lives in a three or four million dollar house and you could roll a marble down his street. He comes to the garden district. She's probably like, Frank, man, you live in a $4 million house. You're worth tens of millions of dollars. How is this street you live on this bad? Absolutely crazy what we accept in New Orleans. And I love the old, dude, we're on a swamp. Uh, Jefferson Parish is on that same swamp. Their streets seem to be a whole hell of a lot better. And potholes get filled a lot quicker in Jefferson Parish. Rarely do you see a pothole in Jefferson Parish that's there for more than a few weeks. They tend to fix them rather quickly. In New Orleans, it could be months or years. When I was married, I lived uh, right off of Maple Street in that neighborhood. And my former, I guess he would be like uncle-in-law, my former wife's uncle, his name was Leon. He'd come visit from Ohio about once a year. We got numb to the pothole in front of the house where literally he's like, he comes a year later. He's like, that pothole's still there. We named the pothole Leon, pothole Leon, because three years, four years later, he's coming and the pothole's still there. I love the creativity of some folks. They'll put a Christmas tree in the pothole, Mardi Gras beads, a house plant. <laughs> Forget about the cone. Hysterical. Yes, I've beaten up my car lately in New Orleans. I understand why people have, you know, like the kind of elevated car thing, like a pseudo SUV or an SUV or a truck 
You almost need like a Ram, a F-150, a Silverado to traverse the streets. And I'm not even going to get into Uptown or Lakeview. My God. Want to destroy your car? Drive on an Uptown street or Lakeview. Go down Octavia about 25 and your oil pan will be ripped clean. Hey, speaking of clean, nothing like Young's Dry Cleaning. Young'sDryCleaning.com. If you're tired of your dry cleaner and you want to experience the best or you're just looking for a new dry cleaner, Young'sDryCleaning.com, a New Orleans institution for 83 years, Young'sDryCleaning.com. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at StudyNola.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, the premier day spa experience, now with four area locations. Canal at Carrollton, on the North Shore in Slidell, in Baton Rouge by the Mall of Louisiana, and now in Metairie, West Esplanade at Transcontinental, the Woodhouse Day Spa. Come to Fausto's Italian Bistro. Age-old Italian recipes like the Italian sausage with peppers or the soft-shell crab ravioli. Lunch Monday to Friday. Dinner Monday to Saturday. 5.30 vets a block before door at max. Fausto's Italian Bistro. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you. Or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet. insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet. insagency.com. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, it's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models, and it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof, now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anyway. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Healthy and delicious, hard to find in New Orleans, easy to find at Lebanon's Cafe. For the finest in Middle Eastern cuisine, make it the Mediterranean diet on Carrollton at Jeanette, Lebanon's Cafe. When a young man comes in and they walk into our store and you can see they're a little intimidated. Last week, I saw the young man. I said, hey, what can I do to give you a hand? He said, well, I'm here for an engagement ring, but I don't think I'm in the right place. So I got him to my desk and within an hour, he had purchased an engagement ring, had spent $1,000 and he was treated like he spent a lot more. And I'm sure we have a customer for life. My name is Ken Friend of Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. (laughs) 
Yeah, you right. Corey Johnson back at you. Another great weather night. Great temperatures. Outdoor dining at Lebanon's Cafe under the green awning, under the oak trees on the streetcar line where Carrollton and Jeanette meet right by the streetcar barn in between Claiborne's and the River Bend. Outdoor dining tonight. Some of the city's best Middle Eastern food, lamb chop, shish kebab, and more. Check them out. Lebanon's Cafe for dinner tonight. And yeah, maybe outdoor dining at Lebanon's. Corey Johnson with you on a Thursday. We may have to just name this segment another quality 10 minutes with New Orleans attorney Joe Responti. How you doing, Joe? Good, Corey. How are you? Doing well, man. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First off, uh, the mayor's folks are talking about uh, um, looking at many potential legal recourses over this latest and greatest recall uh, situation where the secretary of state, the recall folks agreed to 25,000 less, uh, I guess, voters on the rolls. They'd be inactive instead of active voters, essentially. Uh, I mean, I can sue you for eating Cheerios this morning, Joe. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. Does the mayor have anything uh, that you think she could possibly well, sue for? Well, my, my favorite saying is you can sue the Pope for pandering on Poitier Street, but it yep. don't mean it's going to stick. But, um, I mean, it is. it should not come as a surprise to anyone. Usually in these kind of situations, and I'm not, like I said, this is not the area of law that I practice in. There's just not that much law about this. These things don't happen that often, but I'm sure yep. you can go back and challenge the integ- integrity or the accuracy of the signatures, you know, that which is what the registrar of voters is supposedly going over, and she's got 20 days to do that. So that, those can be challenged. I, I put a chip down at the Bellagio that that, that's where she's going to, that'll be in one of the paragraphs of her lawsuit. And, and of course she's got to first, she's got to prove she has standing, which I'm pretty sure she'll be able to do. But also I would guess in some form or fashion, they're going to challenge the secretary of state and how he got to that minus 25,000. And and what was the, what was the algorithm there? I mean, and I, but, but, you know, I'm guessing, and I and like I said, this is not the area of law that I live and die in every day. But those are off the top of my head, and probably there's going to be a couple more that we hadn't thought about. But well, think about it. What is, the status quo is what she wants, so she's not in any rush to do anything, and she wants to raise as as many issues as she can because she keeps keeping on yep. as the mayor. Yeah. So, so you can imagine that they're going to raise things and they may raise them in a staggered fashion. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's coming. It's coming from the mayor. A lot of the time lawsuits can prolong whatever the status quo for that particular person, just pushing the the ball down the field. You know, it, 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 it never gets resolved, but then sometimes uh, it's the opposite in a way where, uh, sorry, the status quo is no longer sticking, but we'll continue to listen to your your your. Well, and and that's going to be interesting. You know, does this stay the proceeding? Is is probably going to be the term of art, or does the governor say, okay, while you litigate, I'm going to set a an election day for October on the recall, for instance. You know, or whenever he's going to set it for, and and. And, you know, he may set it while this stuff is still being litigated. Who knows? And I don't know if he can do that or how that goes, but this is going to be interesting to see. And, and that's going to be the game going forward is when is, when is it, if they have the right amount of, of signatures, can the governor pull the trigger? If he can, will he and when? And when's the lawsuit? So that, that's going to be the fun over the next few weeks and months. Yeah. Up. Yep. I don't know if it's fun, (laughs) but yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Hey, on another legal note, running back Alvin Kamara pleads not guilty in a Las Vegas court, Harris County courtroom. 
I'm sure you've seen the video, the original yep. video. And then a few weeks ago, they, they showed more video. More video was released from down in that hallway. Um, is this just, in your opinion, something that you kind of do sort of textbook to, to help your, your eventual plea where you're going to end up ple pleading guilty and, and get lesser, you know, charges or a lesser fine or penalty or jail time or no, no, arraignment, arraignment is, is you plead not guilty. I mean, 99.99% of the time that's what happens. So this was a perfunctory proceeding today for lack of a better phrase. And, and going forward, his, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, cause I, I've been, a hood ornament in the fast lane of life today, but did I hear something as a July 31st trial date? Does that sound well, right? Yeah, I think that's right. I think they first were saying something like June, and then his attorneys were like, that's too soon. And then I think it got pushed back to July. I think you're right on the money. But but, but that seems, you know, you're going to, everybody out there is going to say, what do you mean? You know, it's just straightforward. It seems a little, maybe a little fast. What I'm going to say is this if I, if I had a case, that was arraigned today, the beginning of March. And you say, when was it going to go to trial? And I said, it may not go to trial this year. That wouldn't be a shocking thing in Orleans, Jefferson, federal or whatever. There's going to be a trial date set, yep. but I, I don't know what kind of motions still need to be heard uh, and, and things like that. There may be other people that are going to be co-defendants that are going to be doing certain things. So what, what I'm getting at is, everybody's worrying how is this going to impact the 2023 season? And I, I don't know if this thing is going to be resolved before, during, or after the season, number one. And number two, the NFL is not the, you know, Nevada courtroom. They really can still do whatever they want to yep. do when they want to do it. Yep. I mean, I was involved with the junior Gallette uh, catastrophe and that, that guy, he was a, you know, in my opinion, he was a very thuggish young man. Okay. And, uh, but he got, he kind of beat the system, quite frankly, he beat the system because there were certain, uh, jurisdictions here in the Louisiana, New Orleans area who kind of gave him a break. I don't know that, that Alvin Kamara is going to get such a break in Nevada because he ain't playing for the Raiders, you know? So can a plea, uh, can a plea deal still be had in the future? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's sure, what I was thinking. Did. Like, this is why maybe the not guilty plea to, you know, to, you know, to kind no, of work that. No, not guilty is a separate deal. That's it. But they're going to, if they cut a deal, what's probably going to go on is they're going to, because what my eyes saw was a very, very uh, culpable person. Yep. A bunch of guys beating up on one guy. Four on one, exactly. And, or, or whatever. And so, and I think there was this, other thing of him, uh, there were a video of him in a in an yeah, automobile. Yeah, with the uh, Uber driver, the limo driver, that video, yeah, not was, good. Yeah, he admitted to something. There's another inculpatory statement is what it's called. So he's he's got problem. Believe me, if you're saying, Joe, what's the chances of you winning this case at trial? I'd say very, very slim. Very, very slim. But, I mean, not out of the question, but very slim. But if he works a deal, and his deal's going to be, one deal's going to be with Nevada whether or not they get it reduced to a misdemeanor, things like that, yep. or they do whatever they do over there. Separate and apart from that is the NFL. And the NFL technically doesn't even have to worry about what does or doesn't happen in Nevada. They're going to pull out the number of games he's going to be suspended, and that's going to be what it's going to be. And maybe so, a civil trial as well as far as damages for the guy who got the crap oh, yeah, beat out of him, that's right? Coming. That's coming, but that's... That won't be here for a while. Unless that they just agree to pay him off, I guess. Uh, Alvin Kamara's lawyers released a statement today after his not guilty plea saying, we're looking forward to trial and a full vindication. God bless him. Good luck. <laughs> I know. It seems crazy. Well, you know, that's his job, man. He's doing his job. Let the man do his job, Corey. Let the man do his job. And you're right. The, the court date is July 31st. So we'll see, but I think the Saints better start looking for somebody in the maybe the, the young man from Tulane or somebody like that because I think Corey, Corey, I think that Alvin Kamara may be sitting down for a few games. No, I think so. I think it's going to be four to six. I think the NFL is going to have their own investigation, do their own due diligence, and what legally happens is almost irrelevant, right? 
Really, it, it is. I mean, I, like I said, I was involved in another thing. Uh, I was representing the victim there for a while, and and I was, you know, I, I got under the covers with those NFL lawyers, and they, 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 they got some pretty good ones over there. They, they you know, former federal prosecutors that know what they're doing, so they're gonna they're gonna do what they're gonna do, and um, you know, it's gonna be up to uh, our good friend, um, the commissioner, to do what he's gonna do. Joe, when will we possibly see you again in the morning on Fox 8? Every Tuesday morning, but they've been calling me. I'm going to be on some now. I take it back. Uh, David Jones came over today and, and uh, asked me some questions similar to what we talked about when we began about what's what's the mayor going to do. But quite frankly, you know, well, that's yet to be seen. But but uh, I'm going to yeah, use me a little bit tonight, I think. But every Tuesday morning, 745 we usually try to talk about something. Yep. Joe, always a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Corey. Always enjoy it. Thank you, sir. That's Joe Responti, New Orleans attorney, joining us on the program again with a little legal information. Always helpful. It is a Thursday afternoon edition of the program. Still spring, summer like weather. We are getting a coolio front, coolish front rolling through tomorrow, which will drop temperatures about 10 degrees, which will be nice. High 50s to 70s instead of 60s to 80 plus. Hey, when we come back, Eileen Carter is going to join us from nolatoya.org. She'll give us the latest and greatest from what's going on from her perspective. Thursday afternoon, Corey Johnson with you. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrim family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrim company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrim.com. That's L-A-I-T-R. When you think of Fury's Restaurant in Metairie, you think about New Orleans food, fresh local seafood, and even a few Italian specialties. Old school New Orleans, just like you remember. Fury's Restaurant in Metairie. Kanye West was seen shopping at Super Discount Store in Chalmette. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney, Nike, Google. Okay, I think Kanye was talking about something else entirely. Super Discount Store on Paris Road in Chalmette. Hey guys, it's Frank Smith from LasVegasGambling.com with your weekend five-star lock of the week, lock of the week, lock of the week. Take the Lakers and the points over the Clippers. Sell the house, sell the boat, sell your children. Send grandma away and take the money. Put everything you've got on this five-star selection. It's the Lakers over the Clippers. And we've also got a fantastic five-star parlay as well. Call us now, 888-555-7777. It's Frank Smith, a.k.a. The Hammer from LasVegasGambling.com. Do it now, now, now. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Lamarck Automotive Complex is something called quick lane. Tires, wheel alignments, you know, struts, servicing your transmission. We're doing all makes and models. It doesn't have to have been purchased from us. It's for you. It handles your lifestyle with your budget in mind. And we want to get you in and out as quick as possible. Quick lane, you got to come see it. You're going to love the experience right there at Williams Boulevard in Kenner. In New Orleans, we don't eat to live. We live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love. More, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. It's all about more. And it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. For us, it's really relationships, and if you care about the relationship, you're going to do the right thing for the customer all the time. When we're in design process of a custom-made piece, I have a test that says, if I wouldn't give this to my wife, I think we should pass and start over. If it's not perfect, it's going back to the shop. We're going to start all the way over. My name is Ken Friend of Friend & Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Where the city is, total maintenance keeps you cool. Where the city is, total maintenance keeps you cool. 
Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us stay you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. Enjoy outdoor dining on the streetcar line, under the oak trees, Lebanon's Cafe, the finest in Middle Eastern cuisine, Carrollton at Jeanette, Lebanon's Cafe. Yeah, you right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you on a Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us on the program. Yeah, a slight cold front coming in tomorrow, which will drop temperatures about 10 degrees. In a week, we may actually get back to sort of a pseudo-wintry mix, maybe temperatures in the 40s and 50s by next weekend. Note the uh, forecast by meteorologists, I'd say like a decade ago, where they were like a day out, now they're about three or four days out. Where a decade ago, they'd give you a three or four day out forecast. Now they can do about a week, week and a half, and it's pretty accurate. The science is getting better. But still, meteorology, a lot like Major League Baseball, you bat 300, you're going to Cooperstown. Eileen Carter is with us once again from the NoLatoya.org folks. Good afternoon, Eileen. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm tired. <laughs> I guess so. You've been on a six plus month run straight. It's it's uh, exhausting, but it's well worth um, every moment. So it's necessary. No, I hear you. You're, you're on a uh, hero type status. You're, oh, wow. No, I'm um, telling you, you uh, there, there's that you're like 50 yards from the finish line. The the uh, the banners there for you to rip through the tape. You know, the clock's got you as a record uh, holder, but uh, you got to get through the tape, I guess, first. Huh? And, and there's still a, a, a pretty long way to go. This this is just phase one. It's to set up an election, correct? Exactly. And so, you know, we just appreciate everyone's support throughout this process. And I appreciate your support. You know, when we started, nobody believed in us. Nobody, you know, gave us two minutes of airtime. So we just appreciate, you know, you really listening to us and hearing us and just taking the situation seriously because it's a serious matter in the city of New Orleans. There's a lot that's been uncovered in the last six months and residents uh, deserve the truth. And so we're getting a lot of it. You know, it's shocking to a lot of people, but it's a lot of things that have been happening behind closed doors. And finally, residents are able to get a glimpse of the truth. It'd be nice if the mayor would, you know, give us the truth, but you know, I just don't see that happening, unfortunately, and be, being able to move forward in a unified way so that, you know, everyone in the city can be, um, can thrive. You know, we're tired of being resilient. It's time to thrive in every neighborhood from the lower ninth to uh, Lakeview to uptown to downtown, everywhere. We want everywhere in the city to thrive. We know neighborhoods need different things and they need different types of care. And we need a leader who's going to step up and do that. And unfortunately, right now, we don't have that. And honestly, the comments she made towards the black community yesterday really infuriated a lot of people. And it's sad because uh, there's a lot of the black community that she's been hurting the most, in my opinion. You know, we can talk about Lincoln Beach. We can talk about Gordon Plaza. We can talk about um, Jimmy Woods with Metro. We can talk about uh, all of those types of things. And that's just, we can talk about Congo Square. And those are just, you know, touching on things in the black community. But then you can go to things that touch 
everyone, of course. We have, you know, lighting, streets, crime. You know, we can talk about crime. That could just be a conversation by, by itself. Yep. You know, the Wisner Fund came up today. Tell us the truth about the Wisner Fund. Where's the money? They still don't ha- give that information to the judge as of today. There's so many things we didn't forget. To say that this isn't about her is mind-boggling. And it's really just a spin that our comms department created. I mean, you can tell. When she got the question, she immediately looked at her notes to make sure she was saying what they, you know, they agreed on. It's been, I've been in comms for seven years, like re- residents, listeners, y'all, it's been. We need to recognize it and start, you know, looking at our politicians, be like, tell us the truth. You cannot just look at me and boldface lie anymore. We're not accepting that. Like, we're not crazy. Like, tell us the truth. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you're a black female. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> light, light, light foot in Chicago saying the reason I lost the election because I'm a black female in America. She won the last election with 70 percent of the vote and the runoffs between a black and white person. So I don't think that really holds much water. The mayor kind of doubled down on that kind of thinking, as you mentioned yesterday. Two things that stand out to me, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, as a black female, uh, Mm -hmm. one, it fuels the white racist or Asian or Latino, anyone who's not black or female, it fuels them with that kind of talk. Like, see, I told you so what they say. And then legitimate racism that goes on it diminishes that it's selling out black folks that have to deal with real racism. I, 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 exactly. I don't think exactly. That's exactly. I'm like, there is enough to deal with. We shouldn't have to deal with it from our mayor. From a black mayor. Like, are you serious? We have enough to deal with to cause division like this in your own city because you don't want to be held accountable is ridiculous and we should all see it for what it is because she does not want to be held accountable she decided to throw a divisive racial comment out there to divide our city does racism exist yes it of course new orleans has always been different though we have been we really have been with this whole party thing democrats and republicans we've always been a little bit different with being able to work together and we do not need anyone especially in our leadership coming here to throw knives and arrows and darts into our situation. We need to come together. We need to unify and we need to rebuild our community together. A lot of folks are wondering how Kyle Ardwin, the secretary of state came up with this 25,000 number. Uh, I would say it's conservative. Uh, I think he wants to cover his rear end. He's not going to go over that number. You guys have claimed about 30,000. This Peachtree Data Group uh, out of Atlanta claims over 31,000. Gulf Coast Resources, another independent group, claims over 33,000 should be inactive. Uh, How did... Uh, Kyle Ardwin, in your opinion, come up with the 25,000 number, and why did you guys agree to that number? I can say this. Um, from my understanding, from what Kyle has explained, is that there he did a, a um, I, I don't want to say an estimate, but from his canvases, from the first canvas, and what he they, the estimated from their data management system would have been in the second one. That's how he got his number. Um, from our data um we believe that it's it's even more than that you know that's what we were able to do in the time frame that we had to be able to you know file the suit to make sure that you know everything moved forward but you know i believe it's more than that but where we are now i'm going to be very honest the city of new orleans just has to suck it up it's incomplete it's bad it's wrong it is what it is it needs to be fixed across the board i don't care if you're yellow green purple blue or where you vote or how you vote it doesn't matter it absolutely affects you if you want to run for office this file affects you no matter if you're an independent no party whatever you are if you want to if you want to canvas if you want to phone bank if you want to mail if you want to email if you want to mms you need this information and everyone who's ever run for office for a at least the last, I don't know how long she's in an office for, but a mighty long time has been affected by this. So it is what it is. We need to just accept it and move forward. It's not about finger pointing. It's about let's fix fix it. And and is not situation in the office? In the whole inactive, active thing, uh, I mean, I've heard, hey, this is about, you know, disenfranchisement of black voters. It's the opposite. It's 
it's putting them in an inactive status, black, white, anyone. It's putting them in an inactive status. You show up the next election with your license, with proof of address. You can vote. It's it's not purging. It's 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 the opposite of disenfranchisement. It's that would be purging folks off the voter rolls. This it's just a, a true number of people that actually vote. And inactive doesn't mean purged. It means you can actually vote the next election. It's, it's funny because I love when people do their research. So, and clearly the mayor's comms department did not when they chose this narrative and spin. Because Devin Bartolotto from WWL did an amazing piece uh, to break down inactive and inactive. I encourage everyone to see it. It's actually on, well, my personal page. I don't know if it's yep, on No, no, I retweeted it myself. It was oh, well done. Okay, yes. And so she breaks down at the end how, which I did not know, that this was actually created to um, to protect the voting rights of people so they wouldn't just be moved to purge. That's right. So how the inactive is supposed to work is that when you go to put in your change of address to say, you know, you want to move your mail or anything like that, from the U.S. postal system, it sends a trigger to through the earned system to the Secretary of State's office and say, hey, they're moving. It's supposed to um, trigger you. Through that process, if anybody has moved, you know it says, do you want to change your voter stuff? If you do, you say active. If you don't, then your, your address is going to be inconsistent. It should trigger you to be moved to inactive automatically. It shouldn't take a card, a canvas, nothing. You should automatically be triggered to inactive status. Or if you pass away in your obituary, obituary, excuse me, and so next time you go vote, it has a flag. Oh, you need a correction on your file. You fill out the card, you do the correction, you vote, and you keep going on your merry way. And so if this were actually happening, it would catch all of the people who have moved in the city of New Orleans. It's a mechanism that's supposed to be a, 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 you know, a fail safe to make sure that the, the, our files are correct. So when it's not being done or an extended period of time, you have all of these people moving everywhere and they're still active. And when I mean everywhere, I really mean everywhere. Oh, no, you're right. I, I, uh, you guys claimed over 500 deceased, over 9,000 that have left Orleans Parish, over 20,000 that not only have left Orleans Parish, but the state of Louisiana. Yeah, we, we know that U-Hauls come here empty and they leave full. And other places, they arrive full and leave empty. Uh, Eileen Carter's with us. Eileen, hang on one sec. We're going to come right back. Got a few more questions with you. Eileen Carter's with us from NoLatoya.org. Hey, Fausto's Italian Bistro's opening in 12 minutes. They'll go till 9 p.m. tonight. Some of the city's best Sicilian and Italian, about six blocks in on vets from the Paris line. Tonight for dinner, make it Fausto's Italian Bistro. Being a part of people's lives from an engagement ring to a wedding band. Before you know it, the wedding day is here and groom and bride are exchanging gifts on that day. And not too long after that, there's baby gifts to have. And I just enjoy being part of other people's family saying, Mr. Friend did my engagement ring and he did my mom and dad's engagement ring. My name is Ken Friend of Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. If you love Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City, you're going to love Bienvenue in Harahan. The same folks bringing a little of that New Orleans flavor to Hickory Avenue. If you love Katie's, come to Bienvenue on Hickory Avenue in Harahan. You have a painting project but can't decide on the perfect color? At Helm Paint and Decorating, we offer half-pint paint samples in any Benjamin Moore color for under $5. So you can test potential paint colors before investing in a full gallon. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. 
For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrim family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrim company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrim.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Rouse's Markets means convenience. Every one of our 65 locations opens at 7 a.m., some at 6.30. And they're open until 10 p.m., with some staying open till 11 or even midnight. Convenience. Rouse's Markets. Tastes like home. Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, Let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all the time. Come to Fausto's Italian Bistro. Age-old Italian recipes like the calamari fritti or spaghetti and meatballs. Lunch Monday to Friday. Dinner Monday to Saturday. 5.30 vets a block before Dorignax. Fausto's Italian Bistro. The city's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa with four area locations, New Orleans, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and Metairie. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Nola.woodhousespas.com. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day, by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Recently, Kim Kardashian was seen at Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Let's party! Can you think of any other celebrities that won't sue us? Super Discount Store in Chalmette. The lowest price is allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and cold beer. 3235 Paris Road. (laughs) Which Metro New Orleans area restaurant made CNN's Top 50 in America and Thrilllist.com's Top 25 and has served presidents at the White House for over 40 years? Trey Yen in Mandeville. Eileen Carter's with us for a few more minutes. She's with nolatoya.org. Hey, Eileen, technologies, you know, gets better and better each and every day. 20 years ago, you guys would have been putting, you know, poster cards on, you know, with staple guns <laughs> on lamp poles and the like, power poles, to, you know, to tell folks where the next pop-up would be or tent would be to sign. Social media has been tremendous for you guys that that I think is one of the the big keys to this coupled with the mayor just opening her mouth and motivating folks to sign with that thought the technology thought in mind I'm assuming you guys have a, a confidence level on how many of these signatures are legitimate normally uh, I mean a best case scenario is about five percent will be thrown out worst case scenario might be as much as 15 18 percent being thrown out uh, oh, I, because of the advancements in technology, do you feel there's going to be a certain percentage of these thrown out? And where do you think that's going to fall? Well, I can give you all a, a real life example of the first 20,000. We had 2000, you know, when we checked that weren't correct. And so that's where we were able to use that first mailer to our advantage to reach out to those 2000 people to to make sure that we got corrections on that. So we're pretty confident that it's a small number. Of course, nobody's perfect, but we're, we're pretty confident that it's a um, small number, like you said, because we use that QR code. We use technology from day one. You know, uh, we had to learn this process like everybody else, but that is something that we've been consistent in. And that's, what our data management system um, team was like, this is one of the cleanest, you know, recalls 
information we've ever done. And we were really excited about that because we really wanted to take our time and make sure that if the resident came out to sign their name and they took their time, we wanted to take our time and make sure that it was correct and that it was done, you know, properly. So we believe that it will be, you know, a small amount. Um, and we're, you know, confident in moving forward. And honestly, we just, uh, yesterday and today, honestly, this week has been a whirlwind. I've had two different court cases to go back and forth with all week. And, you know, uh, the team really does need to get together and, and kind of uh, discuss how we're going to be moving forward from this. But we've just been under, you know, a media storm and just with two uh, cases at the same time. And then, you know, with this never having been done, you know, people doubted us. But, you know, I believe we can do anything that we put our minds to. That's how I was raised. That how That's how my parents raised me. You know, my father uh, went up against the tobacco litigation and he won. You know, that's the type of man he was. That's what I saw growing up. So you can't tell me what we can't do when we do it together. Yep. Hey, did Judge Jennifer Medley sign off on this 25,000 number? Um, from my understanding, it was done last night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and, and uh, of the 2000, you just mentioned that were incorrect. How, how, how many did you correct of the 2000? Oh, we sent it back to, Oh, you know what? I did not. I, I don't have that number off the top of my head, but I'll get it for you. But I know, um, we really hit the majority of them because gotcha. we had that conversation. I just don't remember the exact number. I don't want to tell you something. That's not no, right. no. And there, those aren't ones thrown out. Those are ones that a 10% level, which is pretty much what we were guesstimating going with the 5% best case scenario, 15% mm -hmm. worst case kind of, you know, you know, kind of going in the middle on that. Uh, exactly. uh, you, you guys got to correct those, not they weren't thrown out. Um, about exactly. 10 days ago, you joined me on the program and acknowledged you had over 50,000 signatures. Do you want to give us an exact number that you turned into the uh, Registrar of Voters Office? And if not, as, why? As soon as I can, I will. And, and why? Just because of what I said, I just really need to get with the team and have those conversations because all of this happened yesterday and I was in a media storm until about five o'clock. And, um, honestly, I had to do payroll and take care of the business of behind the scenes. You know, we are still small and everybody needs to get taken care of. So we weren't able to have that, that meeting yet. And, but that will be happening, um, probably shortly. Do, do you and have copies of all the signature sheets yourself? Because, uh, that was kind of disturbing the two days that those boxes sat at the registrar's office. I mean, you could have anyone walk off the street and take stuff out of those boxes. It seemed like. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we treated them like, you know, our children, those sheets. So it was very uh, disheartening to see that. Uh, do you ooh, have copies uh, of all of them? Have, we do have copies of everything. And that's what we were doing, even with the Tom Sagoon. We weren't trying to be disingenuous. We wanted to make sure we got all the information together. Because at the end, while we were copying, we got some information that they were closing the office earlier or trying to close the office earlier than, you know, 4.30. So we had to speed up our copying and weren't able to finish copying. And that's the truth. Copying, let me explain, copying the sheets with the numbers at the end. So let me be clear. We, I scanned everything in that came in um, from day one. And so what we went back, we went back and scanned everything that we had, that we had made copies of that had come in that day. And we made a full data set of that. And so that's what we were able to give the Times Picayune after we were able to put all that together. Oh, the Times Picayune does have all the info now? Yes, we did that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but you still don't have a, even a guesstimation of the numbers, 55,000, 58,000, 51,000. You can't really... Give us an Let me idea. Just get with the team, and we'll um, we will give it out to the public appropriately. Yeah, I just don't, you know, I want to make sure I, I I do it appropriately. And and, and right now, instead, it was originally fifty four thousand signatures needed. Then it was forty nine thousand. We're now looking at roughly forty five thousand signatures needed to reach the goal. Exactly, it's right under forty five thousand. Yes, forty four nine hundred seventy five, something like that. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Any final thoughts, Eileen, until we visit again? My final thoughts is that, you know, I'm one person. And, you know, if I if, if this is what one person can do speaking up, imagine what all of us can no, do. No, you're right. Up. So I encourage everyone in their sphere of influence to speak up. That's what I did. And that's what we, re we need right now. And I encourage city workers. 
you know, people who are in these systems who see things that we don't see. Yeah. Like, you know what? If we do this, this can help. Well, you hear Blue Do- Blue Boy, my dog, barking. Yeah, you want folks to be a watchdog. Eileen, a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's Eileen Carter from nolatoya.org. Five o'clock powwow next. You're on the neutral ground with Corey Johnson on TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube, on radio at NOLA Talk, 93.9 FM, WSLA, New Orleans. Hi, it's Ken Friend from Friend & Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Come see us over on Maple Street in Uptown. Friend & Company Fine Jewelers, Breitling Time, 5 p.m. Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all the time. The Woodhouse Day Spa, the premier day spa experience, is now more convenient than ever. Now open the Woodhouse Day Spa, Metairie location, West Esplanade at Transcontinental. Metairie and Kenner's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. In New Orleans, we don't eat to live, we live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love. More, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. It's all about more, and it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. When you think of Fury's restaurant in Metairie, you think about John Fury, an absolute genius at the fryer, making the best fried shrimp in New Orleans, none better anywhere. Fury's restaurant in Metairie. If you or a loved one are suffering from addiction, listen to Springfield Wellness Center's founder, Paula Norris Metayer. I feel personally when I walk around on the grounds that it's sacred ground. It's healing. Just the environment is healing. Just being here makes one feel like that uh, I can let go. I can let go of the worry. I can let go of the stress that I've been carrying around for a long time. We don't shame anybody. We don't blame anybody. We don't judge anyone. Just that alone really is the foundation on which everything else that we do is done. Put your addiction behind you. Call Springfield Wellness Center, 504-291-4000. Just call us. That's all. And we'll be waiting for you. 504-291-4000. 291-4000. Springfield Wellness Center. SpringfieldWellnessCenter.com. Total 
Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. Where can you find shish kebab in New Orleans? Lamb, beef, chicken, shrimp, plus all your other Mediterranean favorites. Lebanon's Cafe on the streetcar line. Lunch, dinner, and shish kebab. Lebanon's Cafe. When a young man comes in and they walk into our store and you can see they're a little intimidated. Last week, I saw the young man. I said, hey, what can I do to give you a hand? He said, well, I'm here for an engagement ring, but I don't think I'm in the right place. So I got him to my desk and within an hour, he had purchased an engagement ring, had spent $1,000 and he was treated like he spent a lot more. And I'm sure we have a customer for life. My name is Ken Friend of Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. I'm Martha Quinn. Welcome to MTV. Coming up next, who killed the radio star? All right, I'm not Martha Quinn. Corey Johnson with you, the neutral ground. Yeah, you right, five o'clock power hour on a spring like, almost summer like Thursday afternoon, fading towards evening. Tomorrow we do get a, I don't know if you want to call it a cool front, a coolish front where temperatures instead of being, you know, high 60s into the low 80s every day, it'll be high 50s into the 70s every day, at least for the next few days. A week from now, we may actually get back back down to like 40s and 50s, sort of a wintry mix for next weekend. But hey, we'll take whatever we can get. Today was almost hot. I mean, if you were outside in the middle of the day, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock today, and you were doing anything that was slightly physical. You were doing a little bit of perspiring out there. Hey, if you missed the 4 o'clock hour, you missed a lot. Joe Responti joined us, New Orleans attorney, talking about potential lawsuits the mayor of New Orleans can bring uh, towards this recall effort. And also Alvin Kamara pleading not guilty in a Las Vegas, Harris County courtroom today. Joe Responti filling us in on the legal angle on that type of stuff. Also, Eileen Carter joined us for about the last 30 minutes talking about the latest and greatest with the recall effort. You can always check that stuff out, like right now if you want. Go to YouTube. Corey Johnson, Neutral Ground. We're there every day live and after the fact. Like right now, if you want to check out the 4 o'clock hour with Responti and Carter, you can. We're on YouTube every day for two big hours, 4 to 6 o'clock. We're on the radio starting at 4 o'clock, oh so fine, 93.9 FM all the way till 6. Corey Johnson, or I should say CoreyTalks.com, our website, CoreyTalks.com. You can email us, Corey, at CoreyTalks.com. And yeah, 90 minutes of fun, 4 to 5.30 on television, Cox Channel 4 TV. If you're a Cox TV subscriber, we're there every weekday afternoon, 4 to 5.30 on Cox Channel 4. Your View, Louisiana. If you're a Charter, a.k.a. Spectrum television subscriber we're there four to five thirty spectrum channel 333 all over louisiana yeah you right hey the five o'clock power hour this afternoon brought to you by i got the sheet somewhere ah hell paint and decorating they're telling me thank you sales staff five o'clock power hour brought to you by helm paint and decorating You know, there's a lot of these so-called, at least a couple of these so-called coding companies out there. You want to know what they are? 
I'm, I'm just telling it like it is. I'm not making any of this up. I stand by what I say. Don't take my word for it. Talk to any house painting professional. Ask them what I'm talking about. These so-called coding companies, you know what they are? The world's most expensive home painting company. They use an elastomeric paint that's been around for generations. Helm Paint and Decorating has elastomeric paint. I owned a building downtown where I lived. It was uh, about two feet thick brick wall, the old red jumbo bricks with uh, stucco on the outside. Elastomeric paint was perfect for this. I used elastomeric paint, elastomeric putty, all of that. Because I needed a rubberized paint. That's what elastomeric paint is. A rubberized paint to keep the, the water out because the house was stucco and brick. The big box stores, it's these concrete panels that are just hooked together on a steel frame. That's how they make like a Lowe's, a Home Depot, a Sam's Club, a Walmart, whatever it might be. They coat those in elastomeric rubberized paint to keep the water from penetrating the concrete. Elastomeric paint for house use, for your home, I'd say 99 out of 100 homes do not require it. It's thick, it's rubberized, it's expensive, and it's totally unnecessary. And somebody with these coating companies came up with, hey, it's not paint, it's a coating. No, it's paint. It's elastomeric paint. It's not a coating. It's not revolutionary. It's not designed for South Louisiana and our humidity and climate. All of that is just nonsense. And when in those commercials, they say, hey, more affordable than you think. You know what that's code for? It's expensive and it is expensive. And you folks that went with one of these coding companies, I hear you. You kind of got ripped off. You paid for an unnecessary product that's unnecessarily expensive. You want to paint your home one time like I did and never, ever have to paint it again? You go to Helm Paint and Decorating. They'll steer you in the right direction, and that direction will be away from an elastomeric coating or paint. It's just unnecessary and expensive. Do you want that? They'll sell you that, but that's not what you want. I went to Helm Paint and Decorating. I went to the Earhart location. I talked to Joey Helm. I talked to Ronnie Helm. I talked to Keith Main. I even talked to Christy Helm to help me pick out the color for my house. I'm not kidding you. They steered me in the right direction. They steered me in a Benjamin Moore lifetime paint that I'll never, ever have to paint again. And literally pennies on the dollar, 18, 20, 22 cents on the dollar compared to these so-called coatings, this elastomeric paint. You want to get ripped off? Go with the world's most expensive home painting company, one of these cartoon name coding companies. Or if you're a smart New Orleanian that knows, for over 50 years, Helm Paint and Decorating, seven locations in the metro, plus free two-hour delivery anywhere in metro New Orleans. When you got to paint in Metro New Orleans, do it once, do it right. They truly will steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Decorating. No, I, I, the nothing burns me up more. Just commercials. The first four four words, first four letters in pain or pain. You paint every year. I mean, just nonsense, make believe. I'll tell you what. The last four letters in paint ain't like ain't needing that 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 coding, that so called coding. Just crazy. No, I like telling the truth. I don't like folks exaggerating, embellishing, or outright lying. And I don't like seeing folks get ripped off. And there's really, I'd say, you know, 99 out of 100 applications for your home. You don't need that. And don't take my word for it. Like I said originally, go talk to any professional house painter and they'll tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Or just go see the pros at Helm Paint and Decorating. Problem solved. Hey, it is the five o'clock powwow on a Thursday. Got a few $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificates to give away. The uh, Mandeville location of the Woodhouse Day Spa. Let me see. I got the date somewhere here in front of me. Let's see. Uh, March 13th. So we're looking at what? Uh, a week from this Monday. 
the Mandeville location of the Woodhouse Day Spa opens a week from Monday. That'll be five area Woodhouse Day Spa locations, one near you, the city's premier day spa, the Woodhouse in Mid-City, in Metairie near North Kenner, on the North Shore in Slidell, right off of I-10 in Gauze, a minute away, in Baton Rouge by the Mall of Louisiana, and now a fifth location, a second North Shore location, Trey Yen Country, Mandeville. Yeah, you right. Hey, guys, an unexpected gift for her is a Grand Slam home run. Get her a gift certificate. Get her a full-blown day of relaxation at the city's premier day spa. That's the Woodhouse. Hey, the Zurich Classic coming online next month at the TPC of Louisiana. I just played the course. They are doing a lot of, you know, work and maintenance to get it perfect for the tour players. Name three of the four venues, three of the four courses that the New Orleans PGA Tour Stop has been played. Name three of the four courses. We're fortunate. It's like a pro sports franchise. It's like the NFL or the NBA having a PGA Tour Stop. There are a lot of markets that would love to have that. There are a lot of markets that would love to have Zurich as a sponsor. What a perfect fit, this European insurance company, worldwide insurance company, New Orleans. They love the connection. Name three of four courses that the New Orleans PGA Tour Stop has been played. Give me three of the four. I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse. Rouse's Markets phone lines to participate. You know the area code, 504. Rouse's Markets phone line, 766-9480. 766-9480. That's how you dial up the program. 766-9480. I got a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate for you. Name three of the four courses where the PGA Tour Stop in New Orleans has been played. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. 3235 Paris Road. The lowest price allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and beer. Worth the drive from anywhere. If you're throwing a party and eat wine, alcohol, and cold beer, Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. For us, it's really relationships. And if you care about the relationship, you're going to do the right thing for the customer all the time. When we're in design process of a custom made piece, I have a test that says, if I wouldn't give this to my wife, I think we should pass and start over. If it's not perfect, it's going back to the shop. We're going to start all the way over. My name is Ken Friend of Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Come to Fausto's Italian Bistro. Age old Italian recipes like the calamari fritti or spaghetti and meatballs. Lunch Monday to Friday, dinner Monday to Saturday. 530 Vets, a block before Doric Max. Fausto's Italian Bistro. 
For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us stay you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. Yeah, you, right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson with you. Rouse's Markets phone line, 766-9480, 766-9480. Zurich Classic, another PGA Tour stop, another event, another year. We're blessed to have it in New Orleans. Name three of the four venues, golf courses that the PGA Tour Stop has been played in New Orleans. 766-9480. You got the answer? I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Hey, who was Sam Zamuri? Who was Sam Zamuri? Give me the answer to that. 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse can be yours. Who was Sam Zamuri? Sam Zamuri. 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse Day Spa can be yours if you have the answer. Hey, by the way, no Google, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Bing, no search engines, no internet device. You either know the answer or you don't. The great thing about the trivia question is when we do get an answer, hey, my uncle worked there, I grew up with that, blah, 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 instead of someone reading the wiki page online, that doesn't do us any good. Anyone can do that. Rouse's Markets phone line, 766-9480. I want to learn something, get edumacated. That's what we try to do on the program every day. The lightweights are done. I'm not a former FM disc jockey that was in radio that, hey, I'll do talk now. Not a lightweight. I know what I stand for. I'm consistent. I don't say one thing on Monday and the next day the opposite. I don't cut off callers. We don't screen callers. It's professional. 766-9480. Rouse's Markets phone lines. 766-9480. The recall petition. Numbers have been uh, reduced. The Secretary of State's office, understanding the dysfunction of New Orleans. I mean, what person, even that is for Latoya Cantrell, that's, you know, you could be hyper woke. You think it's about black disenfranchisement, all this purging the voter rolls. Who thinks the numbers are accurate? Seriously. Is there any human being out there that thinks they're accurate? The registrar of voters doesn't think the numbers are accurate. Let's hit the Rouse's Market phone line, 766-9480. We're heading down to the parish, Chalmette, St. Bernard, where life is hard, hard, hard. Lester joins us in Chalmette. What's up, Lester? What's up, Corey? How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing okay for an old guy. Just 
Watching your show, man. Enjoying. How old are you, Lester? Oh, well, why are you asking me something like that? You know, <laughs> I'll be 72 in three weeks. Wow. That's not old. Not today. 72 when we were kids was some dude with an oxygen tank. 72 today, man, you can play golf. You can swim. You can walk, jog. You play tennis. You can do anything. It's 72. That's, 72 today is like 50 a few generations ago. Probably so. Probably so. Yep. Anyway, what's on your mind today? Hey, how about um, three golf courses? The PGA stops here. All right. We, we, there were there were four total, I believe. Isn't that well, right? Well, I believe. I believe they played at Lakewood. That's one. Check. They played at English Turn. That's two. Check. And they played at TPC right now. Yep. Correct, Amundo. But I think they originally played at City Park. You nailed all four. They used to play at City Park. That's where it started. I guess they called it, uh, of course, number one. I don't know what they called it back then. I, I don't think, know what they I, called it back then. I think City Park number one is the course they yeah. used to play. And boy, if you, I mean, Sam Sneed, uh, you know, Ben Hogan, uh, all the great pros from that era played at that tournament it, it wasn't like today where they're selective where you know they only go here they don't go there that these were professional golfers they needed to make their living uh, most of them drove from event to event and new I orleans say, probably four of them in a car you know literally no you're right on the money a lot of the time it was especially the more fledgling or middle of the road players and uh you know you name the old time pro you know, Gene Sarazen, uh, Arnold Palmer. I mean, they, they all, Lee Trevino, they all played out at City Park. And then Lakewood had a pretty good following, too, until uh, I guess towards the end. I remember they are like 26 under, 28 under. Then it moved to English Turn. And now the TPC, you got all four. Lester, you crushed it. You are correct. Yeah, yeah you right. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse Day Spa for you, Lester and Chalmette. Man, I appreciate it. No, my pleasure. Good job, man. Anything else on your mind? No, uh, that's about it, man. Just, uh, you know, just enjoying the day. Do you go to the PGA tournament at the TPC, or did you go to uh, English Turn or to Lakewood? You know what? I I, uh, I caddied in the Pro-Am a few times. Wow. For, uh, friends of mine and uh, wow yes we used to go all the time at english turn i've been a few times at uh at tpc uh but you, i used to go all the time at english turn it was just a good venue yeah english turn's a great course and it's in great shape right now the greens are fast the new owner's done a great job they got the green superintendent from latour down in raceland who did a great job there he's doing a great job at english turn new palm trees planted new sand in the traps the greens are fantastic they're about a year old hey, hey lester before we let you go do you remember any of the pros in the pro-am that where you were caddying for a buddy or uh any of the pros you were near um, you know, uh, to think back, I know we caddied with, um, you know, Corey, I'm an old guy, man. My memory's not as good Se as it used to be. 72 in we three weeks from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lester, thank you. Hang on. All right. Hey, well, you got it. Thank you, Corey. That's Lester down in the parish, St. Bernard, Chalmette. He picked up 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse just like that. I was looking for three of four. Three of four courses. He nailed all four. City Park, Lakewood, English Turn, and the TPC. I remember one time I had a press cred credential. And most of the media, it's just, you know, they, they hang out at the media tent. Because if you walk the course with, like, one group, you can miss... 17 other holes of something going on. If you're in the media tent, they've got a lot of video links, including the live television coverage and other cameras. So you, they can keep up with what's going on and really give you an idea of the, what the tournament, you know, uh, I was in a different situation. I was out there. I was doing radio. I was getting interviews and the like, you know, when I'd go on with like Buddy D or something reporting live from English turn or from, from Lakewood or whatever, wherever it might've been, I guess it would have been English turn strictly. Uh, it, it, and I was doing these reports. Uh, I was just giving an update of the leaderboard. And then I might play an interview or two with some players I had. I'll never forget uh, Jack Nicholas, uh, still a pro, 
uh, playing one of the last few times. It might've been the second or third to last time he played at English turn. Of course he designed, uh, I believe the 50th golf course that Jack Nicholas designed in his life. Um, because of my press credential, and I think a lot of media don't realize they have access to this. I didn't until uh, the tournament was going on. I walked about six holes with Jack Nicholas, and I say with him. He's playing. His caddy's there. He's playing with uh, another player, their caddy. There's television camera crew following him. There's a guy pulling cable, you know, for the television camera to make sure they've got slack and they're not – going to have the camera yanked out of the hand so they get a good clear shot. And I'm like 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet from Jack Nicholas as he's hitting golf ball after golf ball. And it was just a pretty cool experience to say the least. Hey, television audience, you folks watching on Cox Channel 4 like Lester down in Chalmette, you folks checking us out on Spectrum Channel 333, we say adios until manana. 4 to 5.30 on television. You can always go to YouTube, Corey Johnson Neutral Ground, or check us out on radio, 93.9 FM, CoreyTalks.com, to continue checking out the program. Our radio show continues seamlessly till 6. CoreyTalks.com, live streaming, seamlessly till 6. YouTube, seamlessly till 6. Yeah, Cox Channel 4 Television, Spectrum Channel 333 TV, all over Louisiana, including Chalmette down in St. Bernard, where life is hot, 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 4 to 5.30 each weekday afternoon. Hey, I, still, I have a second $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate available. Who was Sam Zamuri? Who was Sam Zamuri? Give me the answer to that. I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse Day Spa. I'll give you a hint. You know the, the home that Tulane University owns on Audubon Place? If you're staring at Audubon Place, the gate, Audubon Park is behind you. The big White House to the left. That was Sam Zamuri's house. When he died, his will gave it to Tulane University. Tulane lets the Tulane president live in that house, which is pretty cool. Mike Fitz lives in that house right now. Directly across the street, if you're staring at at, at the, the gates to Audubon Place, you know, where Gail Benson lives, where Morris Bott lives. Behind you is Audubon Park. The house to the right, that is owned by... um. The old Tampa Bay, the Glazers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers owners, Man, Man, uh, Man U, Manchester United soccer team, Premier League soccer team. They own that. They have some other things, too, that they own. I mean, that's about six, seven billion dollars in sports franchises. Tampa Bay Bucks are worth two and a half, three billion. Uh, Manchester United's worth like four or five billion, that Premier League team. There's that. Uh, Glazer Plaza or something at Yeoman Stadium because they gave like 10 million to Tulane. You know, like it's Benson has the field, I think, at, at, at Yeoman. Uh, they gave like 10 million to help build Yeoman Stadium. I think it was 70, 80 million at the time when it was completed. So now, yes, yeah, some wealthy folks living on Audubon Place. But Sam Zamuri's house was the White House to the left at Audubon Place if you're facing the gates, which you can't get in there unless you got business with folks that live there, your friends with them. Guarded gate, they're not going to let you in. When I was a kid, there was no arm like, you know, you could drive in and the guard would come chase you down and say, what are you doing here? You could ride your bike in there. And the, the guard was like going to the bathroom or eating lunch. You could get in and out of there. Now it's very, very uh, much on lockdown. I remember when Katrina hit and, you know, powers out, cities flooded. Autumn in place, they brought in like some, uh, not mercenaries, but like some military type organization, some group. And they're in there with their AR-15s and the vests and the gear. And I guess some palm trees were knocked down. 
and they literally drag the palm trees across the front gate at Ottoman Place so no vehicle could drive in. And I guess if someone came, they a few guys would grab that palm tree and drag it where a vehicle could drive in to go check on their house or whatever. But yeah, they were armed guards at the front, armed guards on the ferret side of Ottoman Place. That gate, I think, when I was a kid, used to actually open. But now it's just shut down. You only can enter on St. Charles Avenue. More worthless information you get nowhere else but on the neutral ground. Information you can't use in any application. Oh, boy. Some stuff in the brain. I remember the Happy Days theme song going, and I knew Ralph Mouth, the redhead guy on Happy Days. His name's Donnie Most. And I'm like, most of that information needs to be purged from my brain. So I could put actually some valuable information in that spot. There's only so much room in the old brain. Hey, speaking of purging, there's no purging of votes or voters with this recall. The Secretary of State, Kyle Ardwin, if anything, he's being conservative on the numbers. He wants to cover his rear end. He's not going to, hey, 30,000, let's knock 40,000 off. A couple of independent groups, Peachtree Data, has a a pretty specific number. They've done their research. They're an out-of-town group. They have no affiliation with New Orleans. You can hire them. I can hire them. Republican, Democrat, they're apolitical. They do data. They're like GCR, Greg Rigmer's group out by the lakefront. They crunch numbers. They came up with a specific number, 31,064. Voters on the New Orleans rolls that should be inactive, 31,064. Another company, same deal, independent, no connection to the city, Gulf Coast Resources. They didn't come up with a specific number, but they say it's north of 33,000. Carl Ardwin, I mean, Kyle Ardwin, the Secretary of State, he's got an idea of what the numbers are, doing his own research, his own number crunching. I'm assuming he's got it somewhere similar to the nolatoy.org folks who have it around 30,000. Like I said, he's being conservative, covering his rear end. He wants it to be as accurate as possible, but he doesn't want to go over the number. He has that number they came up with, 25,000. I think that's being conservative. It's at least 5,000 short. I mean, anyone that thinks, and I'm not knocking Dr. Wilson with the registrar of voters, but we're not like Austin or Nashville where people are moving here, coming to New Orleans. They want to vote. They want to be on the rolls. The registrar of voters in those cities has to put them on the rolls. They have to keep up with the numbers. New Orleans is losing population. People are moving out of Orleans Parish, leaving Louisiana. So it's the opposite dilemma. I mean, Honestly, like, who's going to come in from the North Shore, Jefferson Parish, Texas, Florida, wherever they move to? Hey, there's an election in New Orleans. I don't live there anymore. Let me go vote in that election. I just very few, if any at all. So I think the Registrar of Voters Office in New Orleans to get rid of the voters that are inactive, that have left the parish, left the state. There's no sense of urgency to do that, coupled with its dysfunctional New Orleans. I mean, the sewage and water board, it rains, we flood, we see their dysfunction. Something physical, tangible we can touch. Flood water coming into your business or your house. I would say just about every New Orleans entity is the same dysfunction. To think otherwise would be foolish. To think otherwise would be foolish. So to assume the registrar of voters, they're right on it. First off, Dr. Wilson would say, these are accurate numbers. She's not saying that. She's saying there are a lot of folks that are inactive voters, that no longer live in Orleans, that no longer live in the state, that should not be on the voter rolls. She acknowledges that. She's not saying, hey, we're doing our job. We're up to date. The exact number is this. The opposite. She acknowledges the numbers are incorrect. So anyone that thinks, you know, this is about disenfranchisement, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. There were some powers that be a generation or two ago that did want to purge black voters off the rolls. And to protect black voters, white voters, any voters in Orleans Parish and statewide, there's active and inactive 
inactive. You simply show up at the polls that election. You don't have to do anything in advance with your driver's license, with your New Orleans, you know, address, and you get to vote if you're inactive. So this is legitimate. It's the opposite of disfranchisement. It protects black voters from being ousted by some racist white folks. So 25,000 is a conservative number. It's under the real number. Anyone that looks at the, you know, Peachtree data, Gulf Coast research, assumes the Secretary of State wants to be conservative, not go over the number. This is a logical number. This is a, a pretty accurate number to go with as far as, hey, this is fair. And uh, the no Latoya org folks accepted that number they didn't say no it's closer to 30 they're giving up a thousand or so signatures that they could have gotten if they wanted to continue and and fight it hey just look at peach tree data gulf coast resources they're saying north of thirty thousand. each of them they're independent i would venture to say kyle arden would say that i would venture to say dr wilson the registrar of voters in Orleans Parish would say that. Now, the 25,000 less reduces the voter rolls, active voters, from 249,876 to 224,876. It reduces the signatures needed from 49,975 to 44,000. 975. So let's just round up to 45,000. 10 days ago, Eileen Carter joined us on the program, said they have over 50,000 signatures. She joined us last hour as well on the program, giving us the latest and greatest. So no, the no Latoya.org recall effort. I mean, I, I wouldn't bet against it. It looks like they're going to have the number of signatures needed to force an election for LaToya, the destroyer Cantrell. We had Joe Responti on last hour as well, just getting a legal angle on this. You know, the, the mayor is going to sue. Already a spokesperson for the mayor has said as much. We're looking into every legal angle we can. And the mayor, of course, it didn't take long. I played that two minute clip yesterday from the mayor where she brought in black and female and black and black and black and black. It's like Lori Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago, who said the only reason I lost the election is because I'm a black woman in America. She won the election last time. She's mayor right now with 70 percent of the vote. It's just sinful behavior to call race out when it doesn't exist because it does an injustice to black people that deal with racism in reality. You can't just, you know, pull that card when there's no validity to it. Hey, the Rouse's Markets phone lines are open, 766-9480, 766-9480. Let's head to the North Shore, Slidell over the twin span. Nick joins us on the program. What's happening, Nick? What you say there, man? How are you? Ooh, not too bad. Not too bad. One day closer to the weekend. Um, what you, what, what you, I, I know it's hard to say, but could this gal had done any, anything more to help or to hurt her cause? I mean, flipping off the float in Mardi Gras, that was just like the, and I'm not, I don't live in Orleans Parish, but I fully recognize that we all go as far as, you know, New Orleans goes. There would be no slide out Covington. Yep. Um, uh, that's smart of you, it. Nick. You're right. So we all have a vested interest. You, can, you know, most of us drive over the lake to, to make our money over there. You know, it's, it's, we all have the vested interest. So for, for the most part. But so, so what, 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 I mean, could she have done anything less to seal her fate? I would think, you know, it's sort of like, Donald Trump with his obsession with Twitter and just mouthing off. If there was no Twitter, Donald Trump would probably be president today. I, I don't I think, I mean, Democrats are going to vote for Biden no matter what, but I think the middle of the road, Democrat independents, left-leaning Republicans, uh, 
they ran from Trump's craziness and 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 just the obnoxious behavior and by default voted for old man Biden. And I don't think those folks were, oh, my God, this is a great choice. I love Joe Biden. Just a, a, this guy's such a winner and he's fantastic. I'm not dogging Biden. I'm just saying I think the middle of the road Democrat, the independents, the left leaning Republicans, it was an anti Trump vote more than a pro-Biden vote because Trump couldn't shut his mouth. I think Trump would have won a second term if he wasn't on Twitter, if he wasn't just saying crazy stuff. That fueled Biden's victory. I think if LaToya Cantrell wouldn't have been as obnoxious as she was, wouldn't have been opening her mouth all the time and saying dopey stuff, flipping off, you know, uh, the Tux people, uh, staying at the Pantalba and then doubling down the, the junkets and then having crazy comments about it. I don't think the recall, even with social media and the great job Eileen Carter and Belden Batiste did. No, to answer your question, Nick, I think she helped the recall just like Trump hurt himself, she hurt herself by mouthing off and saying dopey stuff, blah, 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 blah. That fueled folks, the finger fueled folks to go sign the recall. I think you're right on the money. And, and you know, Corey, one, one thing about uh, that I've tried to, to, to keep my head down on is, to, you know, we get all, a lot of folks get so wound up in, in national politics, but I try to explain to some of the folks that are listening to me that the local politics impacts our lives way more than, for the most part, than than these national elections. You know, so who you're electing as judges and DAs and even council for people and, and mayors, you know, I, I hope they make a good choice, you know, if she is in fact recalled. Um, and I saw, I think I saw she only had like 6,300 bucks in her campaign account. That's yeah, I think 6,700 was the latest number I saw. Yep. Yeah, it's about... You, she could buy about two dozen yard signs and that's about all she's got. So, you know, I don't, unless somebody comes through. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to ask you is what do you think of the, of the chances of a federal indictment for her coming out? I don't, I don't accuse her of any wrongdoing. I don't know. She just, I know the feds were sniffing around though. No, Nick, I, I, there are several investigations and Joe Responti's joined us in the past. Uh, Rafael Goyaneci, a, a lot of different folks. And, uh, usually it means there it opens up the door for even other things as well. I mean, if you ask me and I, and, and I'm not hoping, I don't wish for this. It's just how it is. You're asking me a legitimate question. I, I think it's like Ray Nagin too. I think, uh, Latoya Cantrell will be indicted in the future. And if you ask me, I think she will be found guilty and there's a pretty good chance uh, because of the, the, you know, the, the guilty verdict, which I think is going to happen that she could spend time in jail. I, I, the feds are definitely looking into several things that she has done. And that usually opens the door to other things. And then when there are, you know, other folks involved, they might take a plea deal and, you know, give incriminating, uh, evidence against the mayor. No, I, I, I think there's too many investigations. The FBI, Eastern District, uh, you know, attorney, I think there's a lot of, you know, federal uh, sniffing going on into Latoya Cantrell and her administration. So if you press me, I think she will be indicted. And uh, if you really push, I think she could spend some time in jail. I think it's going to be a, a Ray Nagin all over again, Nick. I don't, she's not going to have a COVID you know, Lord willing, a COVID scenario to bail her out of jail time as like, like he did, um, you know, getting out. I don't even, I don't, I don't know if he spent 10, uh, 20% of his, of his, uh, no, uh, Ray Nagin, uh, uh, your boy on the North shore, uh, Walter Reed, uh, Irvin Mayfield jr. All pulling that BS gimmick. No, it's a shame. It, in New Orleans and in Louisiana, it seems that blue collar and white collar crime pays. That's just not a good message to send out. Corey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you with something I was thinking about the other day. I was telling somebody, you used to play that clip of Aaron Broussard's uh, interview on the Today Show. And, um, oh, the God, crying thing? 
It, it, it is funny and it is painful. I will say this, Nick. I saw Aaron Broussard at Ronnie Lamarck's concert at the uh, uh, the LaSalle Center, whatever, the, the Metairie Jefferson Parish Performing Arts Center on the LaSalle track over there by Zephyr Stadium. And uh, I didn't talk to him, but he was with his wife. He was kind of alone, somber. I, I think he's remorseful. I, I, I And I'm not trying to cut him any slack. You know, when the you know what hits the fan, these so-called leaders, I mean, we saw him falter. He had the toupee, the toupee's gone. Mama, day one, day two, all that. I mean, just making it up. Just he had like a nervous breakdown. Ray Nagin, we heard like hiding under the sofa cushions at the Hyatt in his suite for three straight days, just scared, not knowing what to do. You know, it's easy to be a, a Louisiana, New Orleans BS politician when it's just every day. But when the you know what hits the fan and you have to be a leader, these guys faltered big time. And Aaron Broussard did. But he seems remorseful. He seems very humble now. And uh, I, I, I kind of cut him some slack. So uh, I probably won't play that clip and laugh at him a- anymore from just seeing him that day, at, that night at that concert. But yeah, I do. You know, I do the I clip was hysterical and it was down. total nonsense. No, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I didn't mean to kick anybody while they're down. <laughs> I mean, you know, you repay the debt to society and, and, it is what it is, but that just the fact that there was a fabricated story on the just the presentation of it, I thought was always funny. But anyway, Corey, I'm gonna hang up and listen. Thanks. Uh, hey, you're right, Nick. Thanks, brother. Thanks for the call from Slidell. That's Nick dialing us up. No, I mean I also think it's like you catch your son in the liquor cabinet or drinking beer, and he's 14. He's like, Dad, this was the first time. You can be like, Son, I, I want to believe you, and maybe you're telling the truth. But as an adult, as your parent, I have to assume it's not. And like Aaron Broussard getting popped for this, I have to assume it's not the only time that kind of his whole career at some point as a public official, he started going down the crooked path and then just continued down it. But no, uh, that clip was all make believe, you know, the one, oh, uh, she called from day with Michelle Mad, oh, Mama, come help me. Uh, day two, day three, Friday, she drowned, you know, drowned. He, he literally was losing it, was was having a nervous mental breakdown because he couldn't handle the pressure. No, that that's the John Alario syndrome. We we elect these hacks, these jokers over and over again. It's why New Orleans and Louisiana suffers for 40, 50 years, my whole adult life. We do it over and over again. And we expect results from these clowns. Most of the time, 99 percent of the time. It's just them setting up friends and family and there's no pressure to be a leader. But when the city floods, you know, the the blank hits the fan. No, the 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 leadership, uh, it either rises to the top and or or it it, it, they falter and Nagin and Broussard, they faltered big time. Boy, Nick nailing it in Slidell with a couple of things. Nola is it. Metairie, North Shore, Slidell, West Bank, none of it would exist without New Orleans. So many folks are down on New Orleans, down on Orleans Parish. I, I moved on the other side of the 17th Street Canal. I live in Metairie now. I live on the North Shore. It's all Metro New Orleans. When you go out of town, you don't tell someone, I live in Metairie, I live in Covington. Or if you do, you say, part of Metro New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans. So proud to stick your chest out when you're on a vacation that you're from New Orleans. And then when you're in New Orleans, like, I don't live in New Orleans. I live in Covington. It's all Metro New Orleans. Nick's right on the money. And uh, local elections, Nick's two for two, much more important. The judges, all those local elections, much more important than the national elections. Hey, every day we broadcast live from the Buddy Deliberto River City's Total Maintenance Studios. Honest air conditioning and heating experts that come immediately. What else do you need with an AC or heating operation? Honest, incapable of screwing you around. AC and heating experts, they diagnose the problem right, right away. And speaking of right away, when you have no AC or heat, you're inconvenienced. They come immediately. They get it. NOLAAC.com. That's all you need to know. You need heat or AC help? NOLAAC.com. Every day we broadcast live from the Buddy Deliberto River City's Total Maintenance Studio.
This is what Drew Brees thinks about Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Actually, Brees doesn't think at all about Super Discount Store, but they do have the lowest prices allowed by Louisiana law for beer, alcohol, and wine. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Super Discount Store! If you love Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City, you're going to love Bienvenue in Harahan. The same folks bringing a little of that New Orleans flavor to Hickory Avenue. If you love Katie's, come to Bienvenue on Hickory Avenue in Harahan. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Hi, everyone. It's Tommy Wrong for AsbestosMoneyGrab.com. This is not, I repeat, not for folks with real asbestos problems. But if you're like me and were maybe taking a shop class in high school where you maybe breathed in some brake dust and you know for certain you're fine, but you're the type of person that takes advantage of these types of situations, get tested, lawyer up, and steal some money like me. Go to I'm not really hurt at all, but like exploiting the system for free cash.com. Hi, this is Joey Helm. My dad, Bunky Helm, had a vision. A vision of a locally family-owned store serving the residential and commercial paint needs of New Orleans. I think dad would be proud of today's Helm paint and decorating. And here's why. We have the best technical staff in the business, providing the best color matching service in Southeast Louisiana. Perfect matching for any color and any brand. And we'll save your color so you don't have to save those old cans. Helm paint offers free two-hour delivery. Our in-store decorators will assist you on deciding what color and type of paint to best showcase your home. But most importantly, as your local independent Benjamin Moore dealer, our products provide the greatest value in the paint industry, superior coverage, and Benjamin Moore paint simply covers better and lasts longer. New Orleans is a city of vibrant color, and no one else provides the paints of New Orleans like Helm Paint and Decorating. Visit any of our six locations or online at HelmPaint.com. Helm Paint, Helm Paint, let us do you right. Helm Paint, and supply. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, it's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models, and it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof, now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anyway. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. When you think of Fury's Restaurant in Metairie, you think about their daily lunch specials like red beans and rice, black-eyed peas, white butter beans, liver and onions. Daily lunch specials. Fury's Restaurant in Metairie. Being a part of people's lives from an engagement ring to a wedding band. Before you know it, the wedding day is here and groom and bride are exchanging gifts on that day. And not too long after that, there's baby gifts to have. And I just enjoy being part of other people's family saying, Mr. Friend did my engagement ring and he did my mom and dad's engagement ring. My name is Ken Friend of Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. 
The city's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa with four area locations, New Orleans, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and Metairie. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Nola.woodhousespas.com Hey, Fury's Restaurant is open till 9 p.m. tonight. New Orleans-inspired seafood. There's a simple rule at Fury's. John and Manny Fury, they sold the restaurant to a new owner, and they're still consulting with them. And one of the key things that they emphasize to the new ownership, hey, guys, we never sell seafood from out of state or out of the country, and we never sell any seafood that is frozen. We've got two great purveyors, and we get local, fresh seafood from them, and that's all we serve, local, fresh seafood. I don't know if there's another restaurant in all of Metro New Orleans that does that. When you go to Fury's, guaranteed local and fresh seafood. Can anyone else say that? Shrimp, oysters, speckled trout, snapper, flounder, soft-shell crabs and crawfish when in season – if they've got it, it's local and fresh at Fury's. What's that, blue boy? You'd like some seafood from Fury's tonight for dinner instead of that lousy kibble you eat. Huh. I hear you, buddy. I may have to tighten you up with some real human food. Hey, thanks for joining us. Fantasy Friday tomorrow. See you straight up 4 p.m. Be there. You're on the neutral ground with Corey Johnson on TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube, on radio at NOLA Talk 93.9 FM, WSLA New Orleans. Hi, it's Ken Friend from Friend and Company Fine Jewelers. You've got a friend in the jewelry business. Come see us over on Maple Street in Uptown. Friend and Company Fine Jewelers, Brightling Time, 6 p.m.